Good morning, students. My myself, Munali Mahajan, from Department of Computer Engineering, KKVAG Institute of Engineering, Education and Research, Kashmir. We are here to see one of the assignment of microprocessor lab in the today's video. So let us see what is the problem statement of the today's assignment. Today we will be looking at write an assembly language program to accept a string from the user and display its length. So before starting with the today's assignment, we will just quickly revise basics of assembly language programming. As we all know, we use NetWide Assembler to run assembly language program. And then we use System Call to write our programs. And we will also see what is the structure or how is the structure of the assembly language program. So the NetWide Assembler is the assembler that is used for Intel 886 architecture. It can be used to write the 16-bit, 32-bit and the 64-bit programs. Let us see now which are the different system calls that are used to write our program. So first system call is to display message or to use for the write. Here the parameters that are passed to this system call for write is Rx is equal to 1. This Rx is equal to 1 is the identity for the system call for write. Next is Rdi, 1. Rdi, 1 indicates the standard output device. Here, Rax indicates the accumulator register of 64 bit. Rdi indicates the destination index register of 64 bit. Here, RSI should have the variable or the message name that we want to display. RSI indicates the source index register. And RDX is the length of the variable that we want to display. RDX is the data register. So here R indicates the 64-bit register. Due to these four instructions, the parameter R, parameters are passed to the system call for write. Now, to call this system call for write, we use or we execute which system call, which instruction that is syscall instruction. So due to this instruction, the this system call is called and the message is displayed onto the screen. In a similar way, the system call for reading the input from the user is Rx, 0. Here Rx, 0 indicates the system call for read. Then Rdi, 0 is the standard input device. Whatever variable we want to accept from the keyboard, that we have to pass to the RSI register and the length of that variable we have to pass to the RDX. So as explained in previous slide, these four are the parameters that are required to call the system call for read. And then using syscall instruction, the input related operation is performed. And then the user can accept the value from the, user, from the keyboard. The third system call that we are already using in our program is system call for exit. So the parameters for system call for exit are Rx, 60, Rdi, 0 and the syscall. So here 60 is the identity for the system call for exit, Rdi is 0 and the syscall. So due to syscall, the system call for exit is executed. Now, how is the structure of the assembly language program? We have already seen there are three sections in the assembly language program. Section dot data, section dot DSS and the section dot text. It mainly we use the section dot data for declaring the initialized data or the constant. We also declare the messages in the section dot data. Section dot BSS, the full form of the BSS is here block starting with symbol. It is used for declaring the uninitialized variable. And the third section is section dot text. Section dot text is mainly used for writing the instructions. So this is a standard template that we have to use for writing our assembly language program. So we always start our program with the directive global. The global indicates we can have the access of this program to the other programs. Underscore start is the starting label of the program. Therefore, underscore start and then the colon. And then we use section dot text to write down the instructions, section dot data to declare the messages, to declare the initialized variables and so on. And section dot BSS for declaring uninitialized variables. Now let us see what we are going to do in the today's lab assignment. In the today's lab assignment, input to the program will be enter a string. 
so user will enter a string suppose for example kkw i double here yeah. and what is the output of the program output of the program is length of the string is to be calculated so here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so output of this program will be 7 So, what is the algorithm to do this program? First, we will start. Then, we will define the variables messages in the data segment. Then, we will define the required variables in dot bss. We will use the system call for read to accept the string from the user. Now, whenever we use system call to accept a string from the user, the length of the string is automatically written in a RAX register. So, we have to display the contents of RAX using our display procedure, and then we will exit the program. Now let so us let see us how that can be done by using do my compiler. Using the my compiler. So you can uh, type my compiler in Google and you can open this window to run your program online. So we will start our program with the directive global underscore start, and then underscore start is the starting level of our program. Now which section we write down for writing the instruction section dot text. So section dot text we will write down the instruction. now we will write down the message to enter a string so how to write down the message to enter a string move rx comma 1 move rdi comma 1 then move rsi comma message name suppose our message name is msc1 and then move rdx comma length of the message and then how we call this output related function using syscall after that we will write down the accept system call to accept a string from the user so accept system call to accept string from the user so what are the parameters to accept a string from the user move rx comma 0 move rdi comma 0 then move rsi comma the variable name we want to accept suppose my variable name is r str1 and then move rdx comma maximum length of the string that i want to accept so len ght this is my variable length variable name length 1 and then i will call this system call using syscall after that whatever this system call we have used here to accept the string that system call now returns the variable length of the variable automatically in a rx register so this automatically returns the length of the variable in rx register but it returns the value of the length with enter sign therefore to get the original length of the string we have to decrement the rx once so we will decrement rx to get the original length of the string and then we will move this rx into some variable name say str underscore Length one, comma rx. Now we are having the length of the string in str underscore length one. Okay. Now we will display the message again to have the message as the message to and length to as length of the string is. Okay. Then after getting the length of the string, now we have to call our display procedure. to display the length of the string how we call our display procedure that we have already used in the previous four assignments rx comma str underscore length length 1 and call display so display is our procedure that we have written to display the rx and then how we exit our program Move rx comma sixty, move rdi comma zero and zero and syscall. Okay, so this is how we have exited our program. Now we have to write down the display procedure so how to write down the display procedure in display procedure we use one array that is display array 
now we have to digit display 16 digit therefore we point that point rsi to the 16th location after that we have to display 16 digit therefore we move counter as 16 into the rcx then we use the division instruction to separate the bits therefore move rdx comma 0 then after moving rdx comma 0 we move rbx or any variable any register 10h as we have to divide the number by 10 to separate the digit after that we did rbx this division instruction automatically returns the quotient in rax and the remainder in the dl so we will compare the remainder with 9 if it is below or equal then we will jump to the l1 to add the 30h to it as we have to form its hex value so jump it below or equal to the l1 so in l1 what i will add i will add to the dl comma 30h else what i will add to get the hex values at dl comma 7h so i should add 7 also and 30 if the number is above 9 and then whatever the new value we have added that we have to move to the rsi that is to the display this array and then decrement rsi for the next digit decrement counter as we have finished the division instruction one time and dump if not zero to the label 2 and in label 2 again we will repeat the division instruction this we have studied in every or you we have used this display procedure in every program and then after forming the array what we do rx comma 1 to display now the contents of display array move rdi comma 1 then move rsi comma display rr move rdx comma 16 and then we use syscall to again call this function and then we return from the procedure ret so after returning from the procedure we write down section dot data so in section dot data what we write down in section dot data we write down the messages which messages msg1 db what is the first message that we should write down enter a string enter a string and then for getting the new line 0 ah then how to calculate the length of the string len1 then equate directive equ dollar hyphen message 1 then how we write down the message to db what is message to length of the string is length of the string is and then 0 ah for enter and then length to equ dollar hyphen message to to automatically calculate the length of the message and assign it to the respective variables and then which section we write down section dot bss in section dot bss we pass display array or we use display array for storing the contents of the hex values then str1 is the string that we want to accept here reserve byte and 40 or whatever maximum length the user has to wish length 1 resp again whatever length you want to wish and str underscore length 1 resp and again whatever length user has to wish so this completes the entire program now we can run it so as the input is string we have to give our input here say kkw i double e r so we will run it again so length of the string is So length of the string is here 6. Why here the length of the string is given as 6? Because we are running this program in online compiler and we are not pressing the enter. So when you will run this program using our NASM on command line, then you have to decrement the RX. So here 
we will comment this decrement rx as we are not pressing the enter okay so therefore the length of the string is 1 minus now i will run this again so see k k w i w r the length of string is 7 but whenever you are running this program on command prompt you have to give decrement rx as we are pressing enter also so this is how you can run this program and have the length of the string okay so if you want to run this program using command prompt these are the commands that you can use one for compiling the program other for linking and debugging and then execute the code okay so these are the three commands that you can use to execute the program nasm this will compile find out the errors and it will create the object file it will create the executable and then you can run the executable okay so this is all for the today's assignment hope you have understood the today's program you can run this program on nasm and find out how is the how to calculate the length of the string thank you